just a quick idea of the size of job we can take in the panel shop. Now I've got a couple of steel shots that I took and sent out an email, you know, way back there with all the panels sitting there. Oops. This is Charles Garner, project manager for the project for 38 panels that was built for Idaho National Labs. And what Charles is going to talk about is a continuity test um, for the prefabricated cables for these ABB modules. I'll let him explain the procedure that we use to ensure that the customer had proper uh, wiring on their prefab cables. Take it away, Charles. Well, basically, I wrote a small program for a, a slick 504. I would uh, terminate the opposite end of this cable onto a terminal strip. And from that terminal strip, I wired it to an output card. Therefore, when I fired an output, I would expect to, I would expect to see a corresponding input. And I went through each pin, 1 through 25, checking the color code and continuity that way. We did that on, on all the 25 pin D shell connectors. Um, it was the most efficient way to check, just simply because trying to get a meter into the 25 pin hole. One of the most important aspects of this project was to actually get a working controller and workstation to be able to drive any I.O. points in this DCS system. We wanted to actually verify that when we drove a, a physical output point, whether that's discrete or analog, we would actually check it with a voltmeter to make sure that we got the proper signal at the terminal strip to verify the entire system. All right, in this particular test, Charles is going to turn on a physical output. James will be sitting at the terminal strip with a voltmeter to ensure that we actually have the proper output signal. Alright, so Charles is going to drive an output. James says he's got it. So the physical test actually verifies that the I.O. configuration is correct. It verifies the it. proper wiring for the output card and wiring all the way to the terminal strip and at the right voltage. For this testing, even though this is a legacy DCS system, we actually rented a workstation along with a controller and communication card to make sure that we could properly test this equipment for the customer. Okay, in this particular test, we have Steve, who is using a 4 to 20 milliamp signal generator, is actually putting a signal on a terminal strip. We're actually verifying back on the workstation that we're actually getting the proper signal level. I'll let Charles point to actually the value that's changing. Uh, this happens to be input one on this particular card, so we're actually looking at that, and it has a value of 5,685, which actually verifies that we have bolt or have current now the value is zero as Steve has taken his uh, his analog current generator off it's important that we do that to verify that we have the uh, proper scaling done that we're actually getting the correct value actually at the card and that the wiring is good from terminal strip to analog input card I just hold it back all right, in this particular case, we're actually checking digital inputs. What Steve's doing is actually taking a 24 volt source, putting it on an input wire. Charles is watching the screen to verify that input one is in fact lit up as a one, okay, which he's pointing to. All right, Steve, you can go ahead and take it off. And then Steve takes it off and the value changes to a zero to verify that we have wiring correct and that we are communicating with that, anal that digital input. All right, in this case, to check analog outputs, what Charles did was go ahead and put a configuration into the controller and actually drive the output to 50%, which means we ought to be reading about 12 milliamps on the, the output terminals. So then we have 
Steve do is actually verify with a meter and verify that he's getting the 12 milliamps. Steve, are we getting 12 milliamps? All right. One of the most important checks that we do is before we ever power on a system is we make sure that point to point all the wires are in fact where, we, where they say they're going to go according to the drawings. In this case, Charles has a set of drawings for this particular panel and he'll be telling Steve which points he's actually going to check out. So they're looking for wire 1000, bottom of the power supply, line side, to line side of the breaker. Steve's verifying continuity. All right, Steve's checking the continuity on wire number 1000. And you hear the beep, so he's got it. So then Charles actually takes a highlighter and marks that off the print that that wire has been checked.